our top story today, the NCAA has voted on the possibility for college athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness. Hi, welcome back to sports. I'm Ethan Curtis. The NCAA has directed its three divisions to come up with a workable system and implement new rules by January 2021. Changes will ensure all student athletes have generally the same opportunity as regular students to make money. But student athletes are to remain students first, not employees of schools, and not paid for participation or performance. The college basketball season is right around the corner as the Gator men's basketball team hits the court tonight in an exhibition game. The Gators will take on Lynn University as they play in front of their home crowd for the first time this year. With two five-star recruits, three returning starters, and the nation's top grad transfer, Coach Mike White and his, his squad have big expectations coming into the season. The Gators begin the season ranked sixth in the country, and with just a week until the regular season begins, Coach White stresses the importance of this team creating its own identity. You want guys to play with personality, but you also want to have a, um, a, a, a team personality and a program culture for personality. I think our sophomores and KJ, Gak, Bassett, I think they have opportunities to, to redefine uh, what this team's personality is going to be. Tonight's game tips off at 7 at the O'Connell Center. The Florida Gator football team is back in action this weekend as they take on the Georgia Bulldogs. A key for the Gators, being healthy. Florida was without top pass rushers Jabari Zuniga and Jonathan Grenard for the past two games. Their presence could be especially important as Georgia is tied for first in the country in sacks allowed, giving up just four all year long. In addition, offensive weapon Kadarius Toney is expected to be back after missing the past six games with a shoulder injury. Here's what Grenard had to say about he and his teammates' availability for this game. Yeah, it'll be good um, to be everybody back out there. I mean, even on the offensive side with KC, I mean, just seeing guys out there just running, running the ball again, you know, Zoo back out there, you know, just everybody back to how it was uh, week one or week zero. Um, hopefully we can get the same results we did with week zero. So um, we're going to continue to uh, work through our injuries, you know. The Gators take on the Bulldogs this Saturday in Jacksonville with the winner claiming first place in the SEC East. Tonight is Game 6 of the World Series as the Houston Astros hold a 3-2 series lead over the Washington Nationals. Houston will look to close out the series tonight as they hope to claim their second title in three years. On the mound for the Astros is Justin Verlander who has had a productive postseason outside of Game 2. In that game, Verlander got hit hard and gave up the lead in the seventh inning. The Nats would go on to win that game 12-3. Getting the start for the Nationals is Steven Strasburg, who's been lights out this postseason. In game two of that se this series, Strasburg struck out seven and got the win. First pitch is set for 8.07. Tonight is a big night for high school volleyball in the area. First up are two Class 1A regional finals. The 16 and 12 Newberry Panthers, wearing black here, take on the 14 and 10 Williston Red Devils. Also tonight, the 27-1 Bell Bulldogs host the 21-5 Brantford Buccaneers. The winners will move on to face each other in the state semifinal. In a Class 4A regional semifinal, the 18-9 Santa Fe Raiders take on the 20-7 North Bay Haven Buccaneers. The winner will move on to that regional final. In a Class 5A regional semi, the 13-10 Ocala Vanguard Knights take on the 23-6 Merritt Island Mustangs. In the Class 6A Regional Semis, the 21-5 Bucolts Bobcats will square off against the 20-8 Childs Timberwolves. In the final game of the night, the 25-3 Leon Lions host the 22-6 Forest Wildcats. The winners of that game will face off in the Regional Final. Thanks, Ethan. Before we go, one last check on the weather. Currently right now it's quite warm and humid with feels like temperatures sitting at 97 degrees. Our actual temper temperature sitting at 89, which does tie that record from 2009. It was definitely a hot one today with partly to mostly cloudy skies. We are expecting that to continue as we head into the overnight hours, but the rain chances will be dropping off right around 10 o'clock, sitting at about a 20% chance as we cool down into the lower 70s. Now taking a quick look at your Halloween forecast, once again, it will be pretty warm and humid with a slight chance for an isolated shower in the afternoon, but temperatures will be hanging on into the 80s. Back to you. Thanks, Nicolette. BBC World News is next, and the PBS News Hour is coming up at 7. Our news team will bring you another show tomorrow at 5, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.